Let's press the settings button and let's go to all settings just to make sure that this TV is connected to the same network as our iPhone because this is the only way how Apple AirPlay is going to work. Take that into account. Okay, it's connected to the same network. There is the Wi-Fi that we have the, the TV connected to and the name of the TV, Living Room TV. That's how I have labeled it. Now we are going to select the AirPlay icon on your iPhone. It's It, it appears as screen mirroring these two squares. We select the name of the TV, the name that we have assigned it to the TV, which is Living Room TV. And now the Visual TV is going to generate a new uh, new passcode. So this is a one-time passcode and we need to input that passcode into the iPhone. By the way, right now I'm using an iPhone 11, but this is the same process for an iPhone 12 Pro, 12 regular, 12 or 13 Pro Max, any iPhone. You make sure you input the correct passcode within the next 15 seconds, otherwise this is not going to work and a new passcode is gonna be generated. As you can see, it failed because it took me too long to input the passcode. So let's do it one more time. We input the passcode and then we touch on the iPhone screen where it says, okay, now it got connected. And we touch outside this box on your iPhone screen. And now we are in. Basically you can see or watch anything you want that you have stored on your iPhone on the TV screen. You can check your email. You can see your photos. You can do anything. By the way, this is a good way to uh, use a browser on your Visio Smart TV because the Visio Smart TV doesn't come with a pre-installed browser on it. So you can use this as a workaround. As you can see, I'm using Safari right now, which is the uh, default browser for your iPhone, you can visit your favorite website or for instance, if you want to read an article or anything, you can do it. And you can also uh, go through your photos like such. For instance, if you want to share your videos or your pictures with the entire family and you wanna see it in a bigger screen, this is an awesome way to do it. Okay, now let me show you how to get disconnected from your iPhone. This is quite important. You must do it the proper way. And this is the correct way. We swipe down from the top right hand corner on your iPhone like this. And we select the screen mirroring icon. We just touch stop mirroring like this. And the iPhone is going to get disconnected. Now we press the home button on a VC remote and that's how we do it. That's how we disconnect. If this video has helped you, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. You really help me a lot and I appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye now, you take care.